uh, Sayuberry side effects. Now, I know that a lot of people have been talking lately about, well, the side effects of taking acai berries, so I kind of wanted to give you the lowdown on what you can actually expect there to be as far as side effects go when it comes to taking acai. And here's the thing I want you to remember, that acai is a fruit. It's not a drug, all right? Acai is a fruit, grows in the Amazon rainforest on trees. All right, so when you take strawberries or apples, are you thinking, gosh, I wonder what type of side effects this is going to have on me? No, you're just you're eating fruit, all right? I mean, think about it, even. You think about apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, so not really a whole lot to do with, with side effects there. Now, one thing that it does tend to do, especially in large quantities, it, it does decrease appetite. All right, most people have found that to be a pretty beneficial side effect, but that's one thing to keep in mind, kind of like with, um, with coffee or caffeine or anything like that. It kind of it reduces your, your appetite a little bit. Now, does, there's no caffeine in a side. Don't, don't, uh, don't twist my words there. I'm just saying that that's kind of one of the effects that people have reported from it. The other one is higher energy levels. Um, I can't really see how this would be a negative side effect because one of the other things that people report is that they sleep better when they take it. So, um, But that's just uh, something to keep in mind if you're trying not to become uh, highly energetic and you'd like to just kind of sit around or something. All right. Now, that doesn't mean that anything that has a psi in it does not have side effects. Quite the contrary, but as far as side effects go, usually they're coming from something that is else that's put in these supplements. So here's what I recommend you do before you get any type of acai supplement. Read the label. All right, see what the heck else they're putting in it. All right, uh, just to make sure that you're not getting something that you don't want to be putting in your body that is going to have harmful side effects. All right, and get a supplement that uses freeze-dried acai. All right, a lot of uh, cheaper supplements on the market use spray-dried acai, and the big thing here is that uh, spray-dried acai loses, uh, for the most part, most of its antioxidant power. It's not very effective, and uh, you know, for all the the wonderful benefits of acai that are reported, they're, they're kind of lost. So. Um, with freeze-dried acai, you're, you're retaining a lot more of those beneficial properties now. Of course, it's best if you can get fresh acai berries, but unless you live in Brazil or in any type of um, uh, Amazon or South American country uh, that borders the Amazon rainforest, you're probably not going to be able to get fresh acai berries. They just don't keep well. So that, that is my advice to you on uh, acai side effects and what to look for in, a, in a, an acai supplement if you do decide you'd like to take one. Um, now, if you just want to push the easy button and get a good acai supplement uh, without having to do all this looking, come check us out at acaiberrysideeffects.biz and we'll hook you up with a good one. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.